Welcome to Gratuitous, a fun and exciting third-person RPG where you fight monsters for glory and become an adventurer known throughout the land. This is our main screen. Here we can see we have an option to start the game, an option to load some settings, and an option to exit the game. Currently, our settings function does not work, but we plan to implement this at a later date. Let's jump right in and see what our game has to offer. As we launch a new game, we are taken to a cutscene giving us an overview of the village and surrounding areas. This village has many places to explore. It includes a trader, some monsters, a forest with a winding path, and a stream just down the path. Here we have our HUD, which will show us our level, our total health, our current mana, our current money, for the trader, and access to our four spells that we start the game with. To move in Gratuitous, it is a point-and-click system using Unity's NavMesh AI. What this means is that you can point where you want to go and use the left mouse button and click, and your character will automatically move there. If there's an object in the way, such as this well, and we click on the other side of it, the nav mesh will automatically move us around the well using the best possible path to get us to our destination. You can move the camera by holding down the right mouse button so you can get a better angle of where you're going. Now let's take a look at the trader and see what he has to offer. As we approach the trader, a pop-up menu will show up on right here. Pressing E to shop. So let's press E and you'll see you'll bring up his current stock. His current stock is randomized for every time you load up the game, so it'll be different for every player that starts. Here you can see your total money, and we can pick and choose which items we want to buy by clicking the big exclamation mark button. That'll take away from our current money and place the item in our inventory. You can see your inventory by clicking this bag icon up here. Your current inventory size caps out at 16, but we can use this or sell it at any point to either get our money back or take advantage of its effects. For example, say we need this meat, we can sell it back at any point and get our money back. Now let's take a look at the enemies. Enemies are always in one of three states, patrolling, chasing, and attacking. Currently, when the player has not provoked the enemy, they will become, they will be in a patrolling state. They will pick another random position on the navigational mesh and go to it if it is valid. What determines an invalid spot on the nav mesh are these objects such as stumps, maybe these logs, or even the houses. If the spot they choose to move to is within one of these invalid areas, they will continually try and locate a new, valid place to go and move. If we get into the enemy's range, you can see it turns and starts attacking us. As you can see, we're also losing health when it gets too close to us. This is the chase and attack functions. The chase happens when they're first provoked, they will locate the player and start chasing them indefinitely, trying to kill them. If they get too close, they'll play an animation and your player will lose health. If the player loses all of his health, you get a game over and have to restart. To take care of the enemy, you must stand still, click on the enemy, and you'll see that it'll show its name and its current health value in red. To attack it, we have to stand still and press one of the four number keys. So number one will launch a fireball, which has a low mana cost, but low power. A lightning ball, which has higher power, but a higher mana cost. A frost nova, which has quick activation, doesn't do any damage, but roots the enemy in place so they can stop ch chasing you for a short time. This gives you an opportunity to run away and use your fourth spell, which is the heal spell. The 
This will give you a short amount of a short burst of healing for a small amount of time. Let's take care of this enemy. Let's finish him off. When the enemy loses all of its HP, it'll play a death animation, give you experience, some gold, and it might even drop uh, an item of some sort. This loot is randomized, and enemies will respawn after a short amount of time. The loot that you get from any enemy can be seen using the tab button. Using the tab, you can see the mana potion that we got from the shop, and the health potion that we got from the enemy. If we, want, if we decide we no longer need these items, and we don't have access to a shop, we can always click the X button to drop them. And you can see here, we dropped it on the ground. At any point, we can come back over, if this enemy will get out of my way, we can come back over, and we can pick it up using the F key. Now let's go take a look at one of our featured dungeons. As you explore the area of Gratuitous, you'll notice these sparkling portals. Inside of these portals are the various dungeons that the game has to offer. If we enter inside one, the music will change, and we will be teleported into a new scene. Here is the dungeon. As you can see, there's already some enemies crawling around. Let's try and take care of it before it notices us. We didn't drop anything, but we got some experience and we got some gold. In the future, we plan to add a boss to this dungeon, but currently, we have filled it with several small monsters. As you can see, there's another sparkling portal here, which means it must teleport us somewhere. In this case, it'll play the, the main scene's music, and we'll be launched back into the overworld. Now, let's say, what happens when you die? Well, when your health goes down all the way, after you let an enemy hurt you too much, a death animation will play on your character, and you will get a game over screen. From here, you can restart the game, the cutscene will play again, and you will be reset back to the original state that the game has started in. As you can see, our inventory has been wiped out, our mana and health have been restored, and our money has been set back to 25. My team and I have worked day and night on this project, we put a lot of time and effort into it. Well, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. This has been gratuitous.